Hi, this is Paul from Force Attack. In this video, we are going to deal with optimization problem, which is to find the best solution from all possible solutions for an application problem. Let's see the outline. First, I will introduce the strategy to solve optimization problem. Then, we will practice two questions together about how to use the strategy. Let's see the material. Here is the strategy to solve optimization problem. We have two steps. The first step is to build a model. The second step is to find the, the extreme value of the function or the model that you build. Usually, we're going to find the maximum or the minimum value of your problem. And uh, this means that usually is the absolute maximum or absolute minimum. Let me highlight these two steps. The first step is build a model or build a function for your problem. The second step is to find the extreme value. And the second step, how to find the extreme value we learned before. Let's review a little. So the first step, we need to find the critical numbers, right? Take the derivative to find the derivative of zero or non-differentiable points. The second step, determine, okay? Uh, uh, we use uh, the first uh, derivative test or the second derivative test to determine whether the number, the critical number you find is a maximum or minimum based on your question. Now, let's see, let's practice two questions together. Here is the first question. A farmer has 2,400 feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that boards a straight river. He needs no fence around the river, which means only three sides. What are the dimensions of the field that has the largest area? And these we have uh, infinite solutions, right? Whatever you're going to build is a field, a rectangular field. Mm, however, we need to maximize the area, right? To find that the largest area. This is an optimization problem. Okay, uh, this time uh, we need to find the maximum value, right, of the area. So, let's follow the strategy. Two steps. The first is build the model. The second is to find the maximum value. Uh, let me highlight. So, the first step is to build the model. How to build the model? Let me draw a small graph so we understand what the questions are, how to set up the parameter. Let me see. Uh, like uh, I draw if there's a river. Okay. Let me put if this is a, a river. And then along the river, the farmer needs to build a field, a rectangular field, right? So let me put it like this. Okay, so this is the field. And uh, let me highlight what we need to do is to maximize this area, right? Okay, so we need to find a model or a formula to describe this area. Imagine, so the total length of the fence is 2400 feet, but uh, we don't know how to set up the parameter, the dimension. So let me see this. Okay, now we need to set up the variable, right? So to describe this area, how? Let me set up x to here, is okay. And if uh, the length of this side is x feet, so the length of this side is also x feet, right? How about another? See, we only need the three sides of this uh, field. So the total is 2,400 and minus uh, two sides, right? Which means uh, 24, uh, 2,400 minus 2 times x. Can you see if we add these uh, three sides together is uh, 2,400 feet of all the fence. Okay, so now we easily to set up the problem, right? So how do you find the area? Is one side x times this long, okay, this width times this length, right? So we have the 
we have the model now what is the model the model is the area right so let me see the area function which is the model let's get the function we we use a to describe the area and then it is is a function depends on the variable x so we use x one side times another side which is 2400 minus 2x right is better we expand so we get the polynomial that's easy to see so the polynomial is negative 2x square plus 2400 times x okay this is the function uh, of course we need to set up what the domain the domain for x is uh, from 0 to the longest the 12400 right okay. let me write here so x is belong so to 0 to 2400 this is from the application okay now let's going to do what the second step find the extreme value in these questions is going to find the main the maximum value right okay so how to do let me set up let me highlight this step first so the second step now is going to find the maximum area which is the maximum value of uh, the model or the function we set up okay two steps the first uh, find the critical number so the second step uh, use the um, this time we use the second derivative okay to test it to determine the critical number is a maximum okay let me see so we need to take a derivative right we need to find that the critical number which means uh, the derivative equal zero or is uh, we cannot find the derivative at the, that point we take a derivative of course this is easy to see so negative 4x right plus 2400 can you see and then set up uh, this equals zero so solve this equation let's see if we solve this equation of course what do we get we get x equals 600 see this is the only critical number uh, this is a critical number and uh, we are not sure so far okay the function reach uh, ax reach to maximum at 600 so we need to test is this uh, the maximum point or the minimum point how and this time we use the second derivative okay so we need to look at the second derivative right and uh, we're going to take uh, the second derivative so we find a function first of course the first derivative we already, already find so we put it here and the take a derivative right and that's easy to get it negative four see what do we get it now we definitely get the second derivative of the function at this point which is six hundred is what of course is also negative four is less than zero if you remember the second derivative less than zero which means uh, concave which direction concave down right okay so let me write here this is what we can get is uh, concave down if it's concave down which means uh, that's the maximum right okay so now what do we get we definitely so we get this conclusion uh, let me write the conclusion so we know now a act this function right reaches a maximum when I guess it goes uh, this number when I guess it goes six hundred see that's a uh, good we found one side right which is a uh, six hundred uh, let me highlight this how did we get this we use a second uh, derivative test 
right? Okay, so now we can make a conclusion. So what the dimension? Okay, so the dimension is uh, so now. What is the dimension? Uh, as the edge are very small. Okay, so this is the river, and uh, this is the fiat. So we have this kind of. Can you see? Uh, here should be six hundred, right? Because the area reached the maximum when x equals six. Therefore, this side should be equal six hundred two. And then what is the another? Twenty four. Hundred minus six minus six, which is one hundred, uh, one thousand two hundred. Can you see? Which means one side is double of the another two sides. And then in this way, we can maximize the area. Okay, that's the question. Of course, you can also find what is the area, right? By using six hundred times twelve hundred together. So that's the maximum area for this question. Now let's practice one more question. Here is the second question: Was the minimum vertical distance between these two parabolas? Imagine, okay, if we have two parabola and at a different axis we have different vertical distance, right? So we need to minimize. So this is a, a optimization problem. So let's follow the same strategy. The first step, build the model. The second step, minimize the model. Okay. So the first step, uh, let me put here, is to build the model, right? It's always, which means find the function for the vertical distance. What is the function? Uh, we need to draw a graph. Okay, let's draw a basic graph so we understand what is the distance. Okay, I draw like this. If this is x, if this is y. Okay, so I draw the first parabola open up, right? So easy to draw the first. And uh, so this point should be like a one. And the parabola is open up. Okay, so easy to see. And then now we're going to draw the second. Okay, uh, the second one is uh, open down because A is a negative one, you know. And uh, we find the two axis intercepts. One is at a zero. Another is at a one. Okay. So the middle is a uh, one half, right? Okay. The middle we find the first should be one half. And uh, because it is open down, so we have the maximum is probably like here. How high? You're going to verify. Okay, easy to get. This is like uh, one fourth. Okay, so this is the vertical. Now we link this together. We find this kind of graph. Okay, can you see? Let me change. Okay, this is the second, uh, which is a y equals a x minus a x squared. Let me write the first, which is a y equals a x squared plus one. Okay, now where is the vertical distance? See, uh, for example, I give any x set here. What is the vertical distance? Of course, it's easy to find like this. That doesn't make sense. Okay, this is the vertical distance. At x, okay. How do you find this vertical distance? Use the the big y minus the small y, right? The y, the difference between the two values of these two parabolas. This is the vertical distance. Therefore, it's easy to find the model, right? So let's write down what is the vertical distance. So uh, I say. The distance function, the vertical distance function, definitely is a function, right? Different axis, we have different vertical, and then we need to minimize 
this function. The function, if we use d to describe the, fun the name of the function, because distance, okay, we use this. So is the y value at the top, which is like a square plus one, right? Minus the value, the y value on this green curve, which is uh, I guess minus uh, I guess square. Can you see? Of course, now we can simplify a little. So let me write a parabola, uh, polynomial. So it's uh, uh, how many two x square minus x and plus one. This is a polynomial, easy function, right? Uh, what the domain? Of course, I guess could be any real number, right? So the domain is I guess belongs to any real number, negative infinity to infinity. So now we need to go to the second step. What do we need to do? Uh, is minimize this distance function, right? Or minimize this model. That's not a difficult, right? So we follow the step. So now, what do we need to do? We need to find the minimum. Let me write it down first. What are we are going to do? The second step is find uh, this time we're going to minimize, okay? This question is going to minimize, find the minimum of uh, this function, dx, right? Okay, so what the step? The first, uh, find the critical number. The second, they use the, the second derivative of a test, okay, to determine that number is a minimum or maximum. Okay, so the first step is what is d? Okay, we we'll take a derivative. Okay, and of course it's easy to see. See, the function d is here polynomial. Of course, we we'll take a derivative of the polynomial, which is a four, I guess, minus one. Right? We set up this equals zero, which means we're going to solve for the critical. What is the critical number? We find the x easy is a one over four, right? Okay, this is the only critical number we found. Okay, the critical number. Now, what do we do? We find that the second derivative to determine this uh, is a minimal value. Okay, the dx reach minimal value at x equals uh, one fourth. Okay, I was going to do now. Take the variable again, which is the second derivative now. Should be equals four x minus one. The first derivative, take the derivative again, is a four. Okay, therefore, what do we get? We get the second derivative at this critical number equals four greater than zero. So, do you remember this is a concave up or concave down? Second derivative greater than zero, we know is a concave up, right? Okay, let me write here is a concave up. Imagine, so like that, okay, it's a parabola open up, concave up, therefore, and the functions reach to the minimum at this point. Therefore, we have this d, I guess, of course. Now it reaches the minimal value at the uh, accuracy. Okay, at the uh, accuracy because this is critical one fourth. Is this what we need? Definitely, right? So, why we get this? Because of this the second derivative test. The second derivative test. Okay, so now we can make a conclusion, right? Have we found the minimum? Yes, we do. So where is the minimum distance? So the minimum distance, now we find the minimum distance, vertical distance of this question is the function at this number, one fourth, equals how many? Of course, we can't do calculation. Where is D, see? D is this polynomial. Per log x equals one fourth. Inside the two calculation, what do we get? We get a seven over eight. Seven over eight. So this is the answer, which means the 
minimal distance between vertical distance between these two parabola. Okay, that's all. Thank you. I hope you enjoy learning on this topic. If you have any question, please leave your comment. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for your support. Please don't forget, you are very welcome to subscribe to my channel for more videos. In the next video, let's see. We are going to deal with the road of equation using Newton's method. Hope to see you there. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.